Race fans, Sim fans, RC fans. Racing 393. So today we're going to do a small upgrade on my TT01E chassis. And it's not been out for a while, but it is what I use for most of my speed runs. Um, it's the one that I sort of spend most of my time fettling with. Um, and I think the maximum speed on this is only isn't a lot by speed run standards, but um, <clears throat> I think we've got 43 miles an hour, 42, 43, something like that, I can't remember. It's a bit unstable. There's, there's still a lot of work to do to keep it stable. I've kind of got things in place to sort of keep upgrading um, and adjusting the car. There's, you know, straight out of the box, you can buy, build and buy Tamiya cars and go quicker. But, you know, TT01, and those kind of series cars are kind of budget racing cars, aren't they? So they're a bit cheaper to run and maybe a bit easier to get hold of. The parts are a bit easier to get hold of, even if they're aftermarket parts, you can still buy stuff for it. So. But one of the upgrades I'm doing today is this, you can see here on the chassis, hopefully you can see that, this top centre brace, which is plastic on this car, it's like, the, like the tub, um, ABS or Purchased a sort of carbon fiber replacement part, which should go on there. It should fit on there. I haven't tried it yet. I'm doing this live. And there's a fit, the fitting kit is here. So we've got a few bits and pieces we might need to put in. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to have to cut some of these wires. Well, I'll put some of these wires in here. Just got to cut that off. That plate there is for my uh, where I mount my um, speed Sky RC speed sensor. I can't remember what it's called now, but that's where I sort of mount it on there with um, usually like a bit of Velcro. Well, that one's come off, so I'll have to replace that. Notice that running this sort of setup has caused this plug to get hot. So that's not a good thing. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. That's on the speed controller. It's only a 1060. I think, to be honest with you, the the motor that I'm putting through it is a bit too hot for that speed controller. So. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery. So neither normal, no, no lipo. Maybe a, so you can see it's a slight different shape. That's the one that came off. So sort it of goes along the chassis, then up. So this one runs flat. But in the kit, we've got a little a couple, about four spacers. So we're going to give it a go. that goes on, screws, plastic spacers, nothing, nothing, um, if you can see that, so a bunch of screws, so we'll get these on, so it looks like, um, have to put the spacers on it's just going to be the screws going in I'm not sure about that that's the, the original bar sits a lot lower in the chassis which isn't a problem it just steps down from the sort of the two gearboxes. Um, so this is a this fits a TT01 and a TT01E. I'm not sure if it fits a TT02. Um, 
so this is also a lot thinner which means some of these screws might be too long that was my only concern and this screws in the screws screw into the plastic I mean they would screw into the sort of they wouldn't screw into that so that's interesting that one has enough. Actually, there could be a spacer this side where the other ones I was getting confused the spacer is on here but because it sits flat you might need the spacer on top for the screw to go in so it's not too deep that's probably where I was getting a little bit I think I put this one on. It might be too long, that's what I was concerned about because it goes in and it'll hit the gear. So it's not, I've not done it up yet, so that one seems to go on. On there, we'll try the other side. on, don't think it's going to hit anything or the, the back end. screws into plastic that's already had screws in it's very easy to strip and the others are like self tappers these are like threaded which this, these are which this part isn't on the chassis it's not threaded no or it doesn't go through to put a nut on the other end um, so you know upgrades especially aftermarket upgrades with the, the third party I should say this isn't Tamiya this part isn't Tamiya but it obviously fits I hope it fits. Right, so I haven't done it fully up yet. I'm going to try that now. Without over tightening. tighter than that. <clears throat> um, you're supposed to have spaces here. I mean, this is, I say supposed to have. That's what that's for. But that's a lot more of a step up. That would rest on top of your steering uh, sort of pivot points. But this just fits flat across it. So, <clears throat> I know what I should have done is maybe see if I could fit that one before I did that. Um, and that's going to put the area in a different place as well. So I'm not saying I need to run that area, but I do. sits in a recess, this one doesn't. I might just have to try it without an aerial. For now. Uh, I'm not sure if 
this will fit back in it's my little plate let's try that 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 this should be fairly standard depends how much i don't want this screw to go down too far it hits the gears i don't need this on let's be fair i could just mount it straight onto that now couldn't i because that was that was raised <clears throat> and it would stick on there properly. This is flat, so it probably doesn't need this. That's all right. That works. So there we have it. Um, a nice sort of straightforward bit of carbon. You can always have a bit of carbon on the car. It is, I suppose. I should have weighed it, but it it, it was lighter when you pick that that bit of plastic up and that bit of carbon. It was ever so slightly lighter. Um, it's definitely stronger because. That's got a lot of flex in it. This one hasn't. So it's definitely gonna stiffen the chassis up. Good or bad, I don't know. Um, that's how I would fit it anyway. There's, there may be, I mean, it could do with, I don't know, it maybe could do with something there. I mean, what it could do with, which I could probably get, you know, get something like that, get off eBay and cut it. So it sort of puts that in and you can put a screw into there. Just, just so it's a bit of a support. That's the only thing I would probably do. Maybe on the TTO1, it fits slightly different. But anyway, that's kind of what I've done. Nice and easy. I'm just gonna, there's no point me showing you how I'm gonna cable tie these up. Um, I'll just do what I can do on here, off camera, just to tidy these wires up. And then, I'm not, as far as the area is concerned, um, I'm going to probably try and run it without the aerial sticking out the body and just see how that goes. I'll just have it running along the top for now. So it's in there. Hopefully, it'll, it'll pick up. I don't think the days of running aerials out of the cars, I'm not so sure you need to do that. But um, anyway, that's that for now. That's my uh, quick video on. Um, a, a small upgrade on my TT01E chassis um, which will be out once the weather's a bit nicer, a bit warmer and we'll crack on with trying to get over that sort of, I'm aiming to get over my initial aim is like 80 miles an hour, I'm not sure that's going to happen uh, but I'd like to get over 50 um, whether we run like a 2S battery through it it might be a different speed controller. I might have to upgrade that so it doesn't get too hot or burn out because it is something's happened there. I'm running it. <clears throat> uh, there's some other upgrades that might be coming for this in the not too distant future. So, um, I mean, I, I have actually got carbon shock towers, but that needs a bit more of a modification, not just quickly put on. So, that's why I haven't done those yet. Um, but there's many more mods that I can get for this. Why not, eh? Why not make it a bit better than a standard TTO1E? Lots of people do. Um, anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. Nice quick video. Um, uh, leave some comments. It's nice to have a little chat with you guys. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.